welcome to Crime and Justice. Right, did Quezin slip up here? This is courtesy of Crime Stories of Obsessed. The link will be in the description. This was a good catch. I've not actually seen the whole video of this, the whole live thing of this. I've only been seeing clips of it. I really need to sit down and watch it all. Right, so here is where I believe Quazine was actually telling the truth. And I have had to go get or sent Jay to go get this charge out of Rocky's room. Rocky was asleep and somebody was asking the question then, or what about the charger? But take a listen to this. How was someone already asleep? Well, no, he asked me for the charger, but it's me. But it's me. But it's me. So let's listen to this. But his mate, this is the 17th of June with two men and Jay in the Airbnb in Masca in the early morning hours of the 17th of June when Jay strangely went all the way back up there and now we're away from where all of his friends were. But what is I am saying about the fact that one of Jay's his room, and I have had to go get or sent Jay to go get this charge out of Rocky's room. Rocky was asleep and somebody was asking the question then, what about the charge? No. That was one good catch. So Crime Stories Obsessed, she does brilliant work. I'll put a link in the description. Please go over, subscribe to her. She's really good. Now, was he telling the truth? Or was it just an accident? Slip, you know what I mean? I think he's telling the truth. I thought all the way along that there was always someone else who went up there with them, apart from just Jay and these two guys. Uh, was it Brad? Brandon? I don't know. But I've always said someone else had gone up there with them. So let me know in the comments what you think. Until then, stay safe and I'll see you all soon.